Hello students, welcome back. In my previous class, uh, after before we just uh, went on with the summary of chapter 7 triangles, remember I asked you to take a look at the activity which is uh, which was question number 4 of exercise 7.5. I hope you found time to go through that activity but just in case you did not, need not worry, we will be solving this question now together. So we will do this activity together now. So what is the question? Complete the hexag hexagonal and star shaped rangolis. So you have the hexagonal and star shaped rangolis over here by filling them with as many equilateral triangles of side 1 cm as you can. Count the number of triangles in each case which and which has more triangles. So first of all if you take a look at your hexagonal rangoli, it's a regular hexagon, Regu regular hexagon meaning all the sides are equal. So each side is 5 centimeters. I will take 5 units because I haven't really taken centimeters over here. So each of this is 5 unit. Now if I connect these points, right, how many, how many equilateral triangles I am getting? You will get first of all each of this triangle, 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 each of them is an equilateral triangle which means each of this is 60 degrees. 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. What do we know about area of an equilateral triangle? Area of an equilateral triangle is given by root 3 upon 4 side square. So what do we have? We have each side, see this is 5 centimeters or 5 units, therefore this is also 5 units and this is also 5 units. How many triangles do we have in all? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is the 6th triangle. So what is the area of this entire hexagon? It is 6 into root 3 by 4, 5 square. Why 5 square? Because 5 is the side and 6 is because we have 6 equilateral triangles, correct? So this is my area of equilateral, uh, the entire hexagon. This is the formula for area of equilateral triangle and this is the area of the hexagon. Now we need to find out how many equilateral triangles of 1 cm can be drawn in this entire hexagon. So first of all, if let's say this is one triangle that I am taking into consideration. First of all, if I want 1 cm as the uh, side of the equilateral triangle, so I will take how many points in th inside this? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I will have how many triangles? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Correct? Then if I proceed upwards, I get my triangle another layer. So you can keep continuing like this and find the number of triangles in this triangle then find the number of triangles in this triangle and add these all up to find how many equilateral triangles of one unit area you can draw in this hexagonal uh, rangoli. But there is another method that we can do. I will mark this as 1. I will find the number, uh, I will find the area of each small triangle. So area of equilateral triangle of 1 centimeter aside will be what? root 3 by 4 side square which is root 3 by 4 into 1 square which is nothing but root 3 by 4. I will mark this as 2. Now this is the area of my hexagon and this is the area of each uh, triangle of uh, 1 cm as the side. So how many triangles of 1 cm can be uh, of uh, side 1 cm can be drawn in this hexagon? It will be nothing but 1 divided by 2. 
For example, if I have well, a square, a square of side 4 cm. If I am supposed to draw squares inside this square of side as one unit, then I will mark 4 lines here and 4 lines here. Now, it is very simple to count the number of squares over here. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 4 is our 16. Correct? See, 4, 8, 12 and 16. Or what you could do is, you could take the area of your square, the larger square which is 4 into 4 and area of the smaller square which is 1 into 1. Which is what? 16 upon 1 which is equal to 16. Similarly, the same thing here. I am going to, in order to find the number of 1 centimeter uh, as side, uh, I am sorry, uh, in order to find equilateral triangles of 1 centimeter as side, I am going to divide this by this. So, therefore, what do I get? Therefore, number of equilateral triangle of 1 unit or 1 centimeter is equal to equation 1 divided by equation 2. Right? So, this will be what? 6 into root 3 by 4 into 5 square which is 25 upon root 3 by 4. So, root 3 by 4 and root 3 by 4 cancel out and I am left with 6 into 25 which is 6 5s are 30, 6 2s are 12, 13, 14, 15. So, 150 triangles equilateral triangles of side 1 centimeters can be drawn in this hexagonal rangoli. So now uh, let us mark this. This is I will say for hexagonal rang rangoli. Now let us check this for the star shaped rangoli. Here is my star shaped rangoli. So, we will look at it over here only. If I draw a line over here or let us say let us redraw it. They are saying that each side is 5 centimeters. So, each of this is 5 centimeters and each of this is an equilateral triangle. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let us mark it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I connect these two points, and I draw this. See how many triangles we have now. We have 6 triangles outside 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, how many triangles do we have? We have 12 triangles. So, area of star Rangoli. will be what? Instead of 6, we will now have 12. Correct? And area of equilateral triangle of 1 centimeter side is going to remain the same. Correct? So, now the number of equilateral triangles of 1 centimeter that we can draw is 1 divided by 2. So, I will say 12 into 25. So, 12 into 25, let us check. I will just do it in the simple format. 12 into 25 can be written as 20 plus 5. So, this is going to be 12 twos are 240 plus 12 fives are 60. So, 240 plus 60 is going to give me 300. So, here I am getting it as 300. This is for what? I will just write my 300 over here. for star rangoli. Now, let us go ahead and look at our questions. Complete the hexagonal and star shaped rangolis. As I showed you earlier, you can complete the hexagonal and star shaped rangoli by filling them with as many equilateral triangles of side 1 centimeters when we did this, right? By joining, then you take 5 marks over here, then you draw 5 triangles, then 4 triangles on top of that, then 3 triangles, 2 triangles and 1 triangle for each of the equilateral triangle. Now, 
count the number of triangles in each case. So what is the number of triangle in each case? In case of the hexagonal rangoli, I have 150 triangles and in case of my star shaped rangoli, I have 300 triangles. Then obviously which one has more triangles? Uh, by comparing these two, I can say the star rangoli has more number of triangles. So I hope you enjoyed doing this activity. We did not do it in the previous class because we have just been following the question and answer format. So I wanted you to try something and obviously we won't leave out any topic. We will be completing everything. But just make sure when you've been given some activities, you try it out because that was quite of a brainstorming session. Anyway, so we'll take a look at the next chapter that is quadrilaterals in the forthcoming lectures. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for Maths, Physics, Chemistry and Biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.